Hey guys, it's Top G. What color is your Bugatti? <laughs> so guys, today's topic is, has my thoughts of Andrew Tate changed? I would say no. And I know he's has these allegations of these heinous crimes that he's made. Now, I'm not saying he did it or didn't do it. I really don't know. Most people don't know. Now, could he be lying? Yes. Could other people be lying that he made those allegations? Yes. We truly don't know. So, but I am going to say, does that change all the things that he said? I mean, sure, it makes him less credible with all these allegations, but regular, regular exercise, um, treating women with respect, and I know that a lot of people say, oh, no, he doesn't, but he does. He said that in his video. He says that women should be looked after and they should be taken care of. He said that. And to be honest, a lot of people have joined the religion of Andrew Tate. They've seen him as a god. Let's be quite honest. And does that make him a bad person? No, but a lot of people just like religion. <clears throat> they nitpick every single little thing about their religion. Oh, I'm gonna pick this one, I'm gonna pick that option. I don't like that part of that religion. And it's like as if it's a la carte, I like as if it's a buffet table and you could choose whatever you want. It doesn't it doesn't work like that in reality. Now, like I mentioned, you know, certain things that he said are true. Regular exercise you know, try to better yourself, not worship women. Those things are all true. You shouldn't be doing those things. I mean, you should be applying those things. I completely agree with them. Now, now keep in mind, should you be some millionaire? To, and if you don't have a supercar, you don't have a Lamborghini, like this joker called Sebastian something, where he says, you should have a serious talk with yourself if you don't have a Lamborghini in your 20s. BS, that's baloney. I mean, unless you're a trust fund baby like him, then yeah, I guess you could say stupid stuff like that that are out of touch with reality. But I digress, that's not the point. Now, could you be a better version of yourself? Of course, we all could, even myself. Now, what does that mean? I have to keep checking the time, so the time is right on top of the phone. So right now, I'm just checking, I don't wanna make this video too long, all right? So that's why I'm like this. So anyway, guys, so now should you strive to be better? Yes, I think you should. Now. How's that gonna look like for an average Joe? Now, I, I consider myself in that 99% of average Joes. I'm 36 years old. Actually, I was born in the same year as he was, 1986. Um, probably like two months older than him. I was born in October and he was born in December. Anyway, so I'm the same age as him. Now, doing a comparison, am I a kickboxing champion? <laughs> no, I'm obviously not as good shape as he is either but I can tell you this uh, by somebody that that is his age I can tell you this it is a lot of work and a lot of uh, a lot of fortune that he went through I mean I was never a kickboxing champion I would not hustle the way he does that he said he does I just don't put that same amount of work that he does in that hustle. And that's how he became a millionaire. He's, I've even seen some of his videos from Hustlers University. Now, does that mean that you should say, okay, I'm gonna cross my arms, let life pass me by, la 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 la. No, that's not, that's not something that you should do either. Um, you know, better yourself, try to get a better paying job. I mean, not necessarily kill yourself because working 100 hours is not something, like I mentioned in my last video, it's not something you should strive for. It's gonna kill yourself. Now, could you better your living situation if you live in a bad neighborhood, uh, in a bad house? Do you, yeah, of course, you could strive to make your living situation better. You know, especially with family to relationships. Now, if you have a, if you have no car, can you fix that? Yes, you can. And you know, here in the United States, you could easily get a car. Uh, maybe you could get a cool car. Now, is it gonna be a Bugatti? No. Is it gonna be a Lamborghini? No. Now, but what's wrong with driving a, you know, regular car? You know, maybe whatever car it is that you like, everyone's different. Um, could you live, get out of the, move out of the ghetto into a more safer, more decent place? Yes, you can do those things. Now, could you strive to make money and be in a good financial state? Yes. Could you exercise and have a physique? You know, maybe not as close as he uh, he does. Maybe not everybody's genetically gonna be muscular or something, but does that mean you should stop doing regular exercise? Of course not. So these nitpickings and, 
and saying, just making sure of the time, saying, oh, well, I can't achieve what he does. Might as well throw in the towel. No. The fact that he's he said things to better people, I think that's what you should keep in mind. You know, choose... Of course, you know, you're not going to be some guy that's going to say, I have the right to cheat on, on my spouse because I'm a high-value male and I make a lot of money. No, that's wrong. I That's where I definitely disagree with him. You know, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be unfaithful. It doesn't matter if you're this high-value male and you make millions and you can take care of people. That's impractical. It's not okay either. I mean, it's it's having very little integrity and being ungrateful for for the things God has given you and I believe that you know spouses are something that God gives you and so I'll just go and keep it there guys I could go into a lot of details but I just want to go ahead and just mention that and that's it (laughs) just kidding guys I'm being serious